Uh, Dr. Tar, I'm sorry to interrupt you because this this is like a question that is hammering us here. The PP uh, check, you probably heard about it. The program the government is offering to businesses. Have you taken uh, time to look into this program and uh, is it uh, permissible or should I explain some of the things? Because like an organization here, I have a school here and I have a... No, I, I get it, Sheikh. Um, okay. And so, and so it, he, here's uh, from what I've understood, and that is there's two different programs, right? There's the one where they give you a, uh, it seems like there's a flat loan. Uh, and then there's another one where there's payroll protection. Right. Um, payroll protection. Right. So uh, on some of these programs, because I, I've, I have not done a deep dive, but I, I have asked uh, some. We, we have an accountant that uh, that deals with some of our issues here at the message. So I've spoken with the accountant about it and you can correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I understood from the accountant is that they will cover the payroll up to a certain uh, period of time. And as long as you keep those employees on your payroll uh, for another specified period of time, that whatever loan that they gave you will be forgiven. Is that is that correct? Yes, it's a grant. It becomes a grant. So it becomes a grant. So if you believe but, that you can. But Chief, if you I understand. In the you, beginning, you you have to agree to uh, some terms that are uh, not favorable. So you would have to agree that if so and so happens, that you would repay the loan with a certain amount of interest. Correct. Right. So so it's sort of like it's sort of like uh, the situation where a person gets a credit card uh, because they need that credit card yep. for hotel stays for car rentals or for other things like that, even though they are agreeing in theory or in principle that if they don't pay it on time, Very they simple. want to pay it back with interest. Yeah. And so, as you know, the the fatwa of the ulama, yani, even as it relates to to the credit cards, is that the, the default ruling is that it is impermissible. But for those who need it and know that they will not pay interest. I know, for example, that I'm going to charge on this credit card no more than $400 a month, and uh, my salary uh, is 10 times that or 20 times that or whatever. So I, I'm not going to have a problem paying this back. In, in, in that scenario, where a person needs to have a credit card because not having one causes a an abnormal difficulty mm -hmm. okay so uh, uh, as we know not every ruling is based on darura it's not based on a necessity where me not having it is going to cause me to lose my life but when there is a haja a, a need that is very uh strong to nazal manzila it no. it takes the ruling of the darura so in this case i could get one credit card, but I can't have 20 credit cards, you know? So in, in this scenario, if, if a person absolutely needs that payroll protection from the government and they believe that they can fulfill the conditions such that that loan becomes a grant, then I would say that in that, in that scenario, it would be permissible. Wallahu ta'ala adam.